Welcome to Career Services. This is the Career Services website. Today we're going to show you how to access the Hire Cayman Simplicity career link that the Career Services uses for students to access internship and employment opportunities. What you see on your screen now is the Career Services website and you can find us at www.hostos.cuny.edu forward slash CSO is the shortcut. Or you can find us through Offices and Departments, Career Services. Today we're going to show you where to log in to access the Hire Cayman's Simplicity Career Link. First, you will go to Career Services Login. That will bring you to the login link or image that you can click on. When you click on the image, it will take you outside of the OSTOS website and into the Hire Cayman Simplicity Career Link. If you are a student, and today we'll go over for student access, you will select student alumni as the option. When you select that option, you will get into the actual login page. Your login is your eight digit student ID, your MPOL ID, and your password you can you should have access to or you can reset by selecting forgot password the email that's entered in simplicity is your ostos community college email unless you have updated your account to a personal email so if you select forgot password and you're unable to access the account just contact career services at career services at hostos.cuny.edu slash CSO or edu to our email and we'll update your account to make sure you have access. If it's your first time accessing the account, you will enter your MPOL ID and your password and sign in. When you first sign in, you will get a series of questions that didn't show up here because this is the second time we log in. For the first login, you will get questions that ask about your career interests, programs, the types of jobs or internship you're looking for, and that will help tailor the site to your uh, list of recommended positions you're looking for. So this is the Career Services website. And first, you will see the Home tab. This is your home screen. On the home screen, you will get tips. You will see the latest jobs that have been posted to the Career Services website. There will be a mix of internships, remote opportunities, full-time jobs, part-time jobs, and so forth. So you have the option to view the latest jobs right at the top of the screen. As you scroll down, you will see our announcements. So any new announcements will be posted in this section. Current programs or opportunities, internships, paid internships, you will find new announcements on this side. On your right, you will find upcoming events. So what's happening at Career Services? We have workshops that are scheduled and you can select those to sign up for a workshop. All workshops are being held virtually via Zoom. When you select on a workshop, so I will show you here, you will see the details of the workshop and a registration link. So make sure that you RSVP, but that you also complete the Zoom registration. So you'll copy this link and paste it in your browser to complete the registration for the workshop. 
Now we'll go back to the home screen. So you have your latest jobs, what's new, and upcoming events. As you scroll down, you have the opportunity to chat with an advisor of, at Career Services, and that's available from 9 to 5, Monday through Thursday. In addition, you will find the upcoming events. So here you will find the virtual career affairs that will be happening this year, this academic year. So the next career fair will be October 23rd. When you select Fall Virtual Career Fair, you will get information about registering. You want to make sure that you have your resume uploaded so that the employers are able to view your resume. You also have an opportunity to see some of the companies that have registered for the career fair. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure you log in and register an RSVP for the career fair. And now we'll go back to the home screen. So these are some of the features that you will find in the main page of the Simplicity Career Link. The next section we have are the jobs. So you'll be able to search jobs that are posted directly to Ostos Community College. And if you selected an area of interest, you will receive recommendations at the top of the screen for the positions that are related to your career interests. And as you can see here, you can scroll through to apply for positions. You will also see on this page as well the latest jobs and the jobs that are expiring soon, in addition to the trending jobs. So these are the popular jobs. So in your job search, you can also type a keyword and search for opportunities based on the keyword. And you can search by location. You can also sort the positions if you're looking just for full-time, part-time, or so forth. You can also sort it by industry, job fu function, and here you have even more filters. So this is on the main search page for job postings. And now we are going back on the home page. Under the job section, you also have my job applications. So if you have recently applied for work, then you will find your applications in there. Any applications submitted online via Simplicity will be found here. You also have the extended job search. So this is the network, Simplicity network, of positions that are posted across multiple campuses and also pulls in from other sources. So these are jobs that are, have not been posted directly on the OSTOS website, but you'll find opportunities across many locations and many types of different opportunities. So it's an extended search in Simplicity. And within here, you can also search by job title, city, state, or country. And you would be able to look through the positions, find one of interest, review, and apply. Now we'll go back. So on the home page again, you have your jobs, you have job applications, and you have extended job search. Then we move on to your profile. So under your profile, you can update your information to make sure you have as much information on there for employers when you're attending for when you're attending job fairs or if you're attending any events. You also have a section with my documents. 
here you will find your uploaded resume or you can also use the resume builder to create a new resume we also have resume books so if you have a particular industry you're interested in you can submit your resume and employers will have access to view them in the resume books and you have the portfolio option as well Here you can update your information by editing and adding a picture, portfolio, a summary, attaching documents, and any additional information you would like to share. So you choose what you would like to share with the employer. You can save those changes and also generate a QR code that you can share with employers. So if your profile is completely updated, you can add a QR code in a message to employers. Okay. Then we have the section, My Events. So here you will find information on career fairs, information sessions, and workshops. So here you'll find the listing of the career fairs that were just scheduled. You will find the listing of the workshops as well and you can RSVP, but just make sure that you click on the Zoom link and register on Zoom for the workshop to ensure you have access on the day of the workshop. If you are part of the internship program, you will have access to the experiential learning module if you in, are enrolled in one of the field experience courses. And you would know this because your, the internship coordinator will be working with your professor to ensure you have access to the internship uh, program on Simplicity. Here you will be able to keep track of all your documents, submit evaluations, self-evaluations, and timesheets as well. The next section is the employer section. And here you will find the access to all of the employers that are listed on Simplicity. There you can search by keyword, you can search by industry, you can look at the list of the employers that are registered with Ostos Community College and view all of the contact information. So for example, here is an employer, a Freebird. I can search and see all of the positions that they have posted. If they have linked their Facebook page, their website, I will find that here as well, and other information. A Freebird has added their Twitter feed to this account so you can stay up to date. And you will also see if they were registered for any career fairs. So again, here you have access to the employers if you are following any employers, they would show up on this page. For a contact directory, you can also do a search within here. And if you have any favorites, those would show in this section. So this is the employer search section. So instead of searching through job postings, you would search directly through the employer profiles. The next section we have are the surveys. So we encourage all our students to complete surveys. We have the general career services survey. We have a workshop survey for after you attend a workshop. We have the first destination survey. So if you've graduated, let us know what you're doing and complete our surveys. And we also have the virtual career fair survey. So these are available to you to complete as many times as used. Anytime you come, you have a meeting with an advisor, you can use the career services survey and you will also receive an automated email with the survey link after meeting with a career services team member. And this is, and the, it's a quick survey. You're checking off and rating and selecting what the service was. In addition to survey, we have additional resources one of those resources is Pathways. Pathways is 
you will be entered into a pathway based on the program you're in. So if you're in the internship program, you would have a pathway, which is a series of steps to complete in simplicity. The other resource is Career Explorer. So if you want to learn more about the careers that you're interested in or the jobs that you're applying to, you can research here popular careers, leading industries. And when you search for a career, you will receive detailed job outlook information on wages, salaries, a description, the type of knowledge, skills, education, and technology that are required for these roles, and any additional information that would be helpful. On the right side, you will also find related careers and similar careers that you can select. If you're unsure about which career you want to pursue, we also have the Career Finder. In Career Finder, you will take a free career assessment where you will answer a series of questions. So you will answer a series of short questions such as, do you like to build kitchen cabinets? Maybe I strongly dislike that. Do you like to lay brick or tile? Develop new mes medicine. So I highly encourage you to select strongly like or strongly dislike if you're completing the assessment to have a better match of the results. Here we're gonna do a random answering of questions just so you can see what will pop up after you complete the assessment. And where do we have the long assessment here? 62 questions. So once you get through all those questions, this will be a random, very, it's very quick to review and answer the questions, but what is helpful is that you have a better sense of what matches based on your career interests. So when thinking about careers and jobs and what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to make sure that it is a good match with your interests, your personality, your values, what you like, if you like to work with your hands, if you prefer technology, if you prefer working with children. So this will give you a good match. So we'll call this the test assessment. So once you've completed that and submitted, you will see your results. So based on this assessment, it's matching me to these careers and these industries. It also tells me whether there's a bright outlook, if these are green careers, and if there's any apprenticeship as well. On the right side, you will even get more detailed information on how it matches to your interests and experience, education, and examples here. So this is all available to you. You also have access to a document library. The document library has articles and resources available for you. Here you will find how to navigate a virtual career fair, putting your best foot forward for interviews, mastering the virtual interview, how to write a resume that stands out, creating a memorable elevator pitch. You also have a resume guideline, steps to networking, virtual career fair info. So you have resources here available. There is also the resume builder in this section, in addition to the section um, above, and you have access to mock interviews. For the mock interview, if you would like to practice interviewing, you can record and select to record an interview or you can contact career services. I'll just disregard that. Um, you can contact career services to have a virtual interview with a career services team member, or you can do it right here on Simplicity. And this will be a pre-recorded interview. So you will meet with a pre-recorded person asking questions and you will be rated at the end. So these are some of the resources available to you. You also have access to the calendar 
to view any events that are coming up. Um, so tomorrow we have two workshops happening, Virtual Job Fair 101 and Salary Negotiations. So these are the activities for tomorrow and you can click on the link and sign up for those. And the last section is My Account. In My Account, you have access to update your personal information, which is your name, academics, your preferences, your privacy settings, email notifications, and password as well. So here you can update all your information. And any information you have submitted for career outcomes would be available here. So again, please make sure that you have a working email, updated email and phone number if you're submitting your information and applying for employment, you want to make sure you have the most updated information. Make sure you have an answering machine with an appropriate message and so forth. And now we'll go back to the home screen. So this is a tour of the virtual career fair of the Simplicity online career link. And our next session will be on the virtual career fair. We have an upgraded system, so you would meet with employers through Simplicity linked to their personal Zoom accounts. So we look forward to having you join us for the upcoming virtual career fairs. So please make sure that you claim your account. You will log in with your Ostos Empol ID. And if you have any trouble accessing the website, please make sure to check in with us at Career Services. I'll share with you here our website again at www.ostos.cuny.edu and then we have a forward slash CSO and that'll take you right back to our website and through contact us you will find our contact information phone number email and also you can contact us individually our emails are all listed here so just if you're looking to log in to our higher cayman simplicity you will go to our career services login page on our website you also have plenty of resources to help you we have vault is a career resource for students LinkedIn resource, in addition to many more resources. If you're preparing yourself to look for employment, we have the Career Toolkits page, so you can access resources to help you prepare a resume or cover letter, and samples are provided as well. We have Job Search Support. You'll find information for Hire Caymans, We have LGBTQ career resources, information on financial planning, additional career links, internship opportunities. So here you will find opportunities that are posted on Simplicity and even uh, more opportunities such a, that are available throughout CUNY and other programs. So these are ongoing internships that are always recruiting so you want to always check the deadlines and check on the link of each page. This is available to you in our website. And we also have a guide provided by the Thrive Technical Assistance Program on careers and the criminal justice affected people. So if you have, if you are justice involved um, and you want to learn about resources available for you, in searching for a career, please feel free to review the guide available here on the Career Services website. And now we'll be back to the home page. So we encourage you to visit our website, check out our announcements. In our announcements, you will find some resources and any new information available. And if you would like to log in to Simplicity, you would go to our career services login 
and either go on to the link or select the image to log in to Simplicity. If you have any questions, please feel free to share your questions on the comments link, or you can contact us at Career Services. Again, I'll put in our contact information here, you can see, and it's also listed in the comments section. We are working remotely um, for now, but we are available to meet with you individually, either through the phone or online through Zoom or Teams. So we are available for one-on-one -on -one appointments. If you have a resume to review, if you're applying for employment or an internship, please make sure to reach out to us so we can provide you with our services and update all of your documents. So today's session was a overview of our Hire Caymans Simplicity, and this will be available on the Facebook Live page, um, so you can always access this feature here. So thank you for joining us today, and again, if you have any questions, please contact Career Services or visit our website. Thank you.